slippery elm bark. Mm. Also known as the Indian elm, the moose elm, or the red elm. Mix it with water to make this poultice that's really good to rub on chapped lips, burns, or wounds. Personally, I like to use slippery elm bark in teas for ingestion, which is really good for a sore, raw throat. It's also good for diarrhea and constipation. Are they talking about you? Are they talking behind your back? Grab a bit of slippery elm bark, tie a thread of yellow or yellow cord around it and throw it into a burning fire. Better yet, a burning fire made of slippery elm bark. Place it around a child's neck to encourage them to develop a persuasive tongue. 